Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Thanks for joining me. Wish you a great day and in this video I want to talk about simply that we create our lives. Um, we, well, I'm just inspired to make this video because I was just doing my business today and I just thought okay, 10 minutes just to contribute. But it is something on my mind and that is that we create our lives. Um, you've heard the expression maybe we create our reality. Um, we can either create our life unconsciously through unconscious mental habit and programming and like the ways of thinking that we've been conditioned by our society and culture, parents, etc. Our school, the media, the television, to think a certain way and then we just aim us to go and go ahead in our life and go get into all sorts of mayhem. So that's unconscious creation of our life. But we also can consciously create our life when we're more aware and informed and knowledgeable that we actually create our life. So it's actually crazy to think that the, basically the entire way your life is now, you for the large part created it. It's totally your make, your making. So that includes your health. Are you in the shape you want? Is is your body like? Is it is it? Let's say, hope it don't offend you, but is it fat or is it really skinny, <laughs> or is it like is it athletic and powerful and muscular and toned the pre the way most people want it to be, <laughs> or is it is it fit? Can you run ten miles or five miles even, or or anything? Um. Do you look the way you want to look? Is your hair and your skin the way it wants to look? Healthy and nice? Um, your, is your career the way you want it to be? Um, your job, your studies? Um, what about your relationships? All of your relationships, anyone you think of, you've, you've co-created that powerfully. You've largely created it to be that way. And so if your life isn't the way you like it to be, that's that in a way is that's kind of the whole is the good news that the opportunity is there for now and tomorrow and today to create it the way you want it to be any relationship you don't like it's not going good you can either make peace with it and send it love from your heart and heal and be free and open that is the way i am in one of my relationships i just feel like i kind of like you know i wasn't as amazing and perfect i would have liked to be and it was a very challenging situation and now I'm just letting that person have their time alone and to, you know, I don't think it's best necessarily to contact them because I think they're probably still unhealed or triggered and um, cloudy. But I've set that go, I've let, let it go, I've healed and I've moved on. I, I feel love for that person but I don't think they feel the same way for me so I'm just giving them time and space. But anyway, apart from that, like all of your relationships are up to you. You know what happens? You, you said and did things in the past and you thought things like the Buddha says what you think you become or your thoughts create your reality so you, you think a certain way and if we can consciously deliberately learn to choose our thoughts much more selectively okay that's conscious creation of our thoughts then we get to feel a different way and see things a different way and then and if we're really consciously wanting to create our life to be a certain way when you have a vision once you have a vision you can manifest that vision there's a, where there's a will, there's a way. So whatever you want, you can basically have. If you're persistent and consistent enough and have the vision in your head and take steps and actions towards getting there. But if it stems with your thoughts, your attitude, outlook and perspective. And it stems from your heart and the clarity in your mind of what you want. Why you want it and how much you want it. And that could be a, a happier relationship. It could be fixing a, a ruining r relationship with your partner or loved one or your or your mother or father it's so like i said there's a will when there's, where there's a will there's a way and you need to sort out and you need to look at you need to sort out yourself and you need to look out for the answers the solutions the information and the education and this video is like an informative educational video so this can help you this is an example of you taking steps to change your life for the better and to create the life that you want. So in my life I just feel so much more empowered and like there's all the potential in the world and I can do whatever I want to do. Um, and obviously I'm not perfect and neither are you so 
there's challenges and that's what life is supposed to be like, plenty of challenges. But I'm manifesting the body I want now through learning ways to heal and strengthen the body and to become fit and strong. I want to become like an athlete that I used to be and more like a boxer, an amazing, they used to call me Foxer the Boxer. Because <laughs> I used to like, used to like, like the old boxing, you know, and I still even do like that part. To have that like warrior aspect to me, the, the warrior essence, like some psychic years ago once saw me and said they see me as like in a past life, like an assassin even, like, you know, like they, I like with swords, like a dagger that I love swords and I do love swords and I like, just like the whole like combat, the the physical prowess, the the whole competitiveness, the but not that I like comp competition anymore because that's I don't like the separation of trying to. I don't mind it necessarily, but it depends if it's coming from ego or a whole lot of honor and reverence, and respect, and to help one another, um, to honor the free will. Um, yeah, it's it's different than just ordinary sport. Uh, but um, I have this vision, and with this vision, I'm choosing certain things, and I'm choosing to not do certain things to make my vision happen. And one of my favorite things in life is to manifest joy and happiness, especially in relationships, because I love people. And this is a tricky, this is the trickiest subject in the world because. There's another, whereas something simply becoming fit or strong or healthy physically or healing from an illness has got to do with us and our choices. There isn't a, a big dynamic relationship with a melon, for example. Have some melons here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you see? You know, that's not interacting with me much. But <laughs> when, you, when it comes to people, they interact with you. And you know this, and it can be very challenging sometimes. So everything you've thought, said and done has created all of your relationships. So if you're in a relationship that's not the way you want it to be, you really truly can't change it. And it primarily comes from changing your heart and opening your heart. Oh man, there's so much about the subjects of relationships. You could talk forever about this. Uh, and I kind of almost have in some, in some cases, in ways. But I gave you some quick pointers, really, really quick, as quick as I can. Treat them and, and love them like the way you would your child, your, your mother or father, your son or your daughter. That sort of softness, sensitivity and love. And that's the way you're so out for them instead of against them. Two, make their happiness your priority. Want to, them to thrive so badly, so much from the, from the deepest parts of your heart and your being that you will not and don't want to and will stop if you do anything that's going to cause them any hurt, stress or, or upset. Now this doesn't mean being a walkover. Because you can't obviously sacrifice your own life, but it does mean treating them with the highest regard, sensitivity, empathy, kindness, love, gentleness, softness, beauty, respect, honor, and just stopping when you see you're do being mean or hard or argumentative or trying to be right. You know, the third one: drop being right. To stop trying to be right. It's more important to be making them happy and loving them to, than being right. So, and you know what? When you start making other people wrong, it doesn't work. So, number four, do what works. Get the results. And that means harmony and wellness in the relationship rather than arguments. Because when there's arguments and bad feeling, you suffer and you lose as well. They don't give you what you want when you've been fighting with them and or you've been they've been when you're fighting together. So that's so important and that's a lifetime's work almost, so you can improve on that all the time. These things alone have changed my relationships from really difficult ones <laughs> to just shutting up in a sense sometimes and stop trying to be right or be intellectually engaging and talkative with someone who needs space or time out or needs to relax or to de-stress. Yeah, so stop the whole thing of like pointing the finger and highlighting what's wrong with the other person and um, caring for them like you would your child. So powerful. So manifesting your life, 
that's it, that's it. Does that make sense? So you've created your life up to now, and so if you want to live in another country, you want to have more money, you want to get, have different health, different physique, different body, you want, to, you want a different relationship, usually you can just totally change your relationship. You don't necessarily have to dump your partner or leave, your, leave the relationship if you're really suffering and not happy in it. Have a, you need to change your thoughts, change your words enormously, both of them, and then your actions too. Like just if you want a total change, you need to you need to do a total change in, in the way you've been. You need to take action and take responsibility and take the reins and lead and lead the way forward with your inspiration to change your life and your relationship. Don't wait for any other person. That's putting in someone else's power on hands and they may never take the action or know how to take the action. But obviously if you're watching these type of videos then you're the type of person who at the moment is ready to take big changes and control and, and reign of your own life. And that's exciting because what's more better than to think that everything is possible and the opportunities abound, potential exists and potential does exist. So. I haven't reached my potential and neither of you and we never will and that's why we have life after life to explore and experience different themes as part of life and it's fantastic so so just remember don't be the victim please take responsibility and change yourself if you want to if you want to make friends be friendly if you want to make peace be peaceful that's what, my, that's what Peace Pilgrim, my hero, said, and it's true. You don't make peace by aggression or war. That just continues it on and causes hurt, disruption and vengeance and feeling horrible and powerless, powerlessness if you lose and then you want revenge and you want a bit more power than feeling no power. And like. The worst is powerlessness and despair, you know, powerlessness down there, just that's a terrible feeling. Above that is feeling revenge, at least then you feel a bit more power again. Taking revenge often comes to people when they're feeling really bad about something that's happened and they haven't had much control or power in it. Like for example, if someone in your family gets beaten up, you want revenge because you had no power in that, you had no say, you, you weren't there, you couldn't do anything. And now you feel you want revenge, and just like oh, you want revenge, because that, that's it's a better feeling than feeling terribly, powerlessly desperate. But there's a big difference between thinking power and um, revenge thoughts, which is an improved vibration, than feeling powerlessness, powerless. Um, but then taking action is on taking revenge is perpetuating it to a point which isn't really helpful in our life. Um, we can shift from thinking those thoughts of revenge to gradually let those the energy flow and go further up the scale and think a higher vibrational thought than powerless than, than revenge powerlessness revenge maybe anger think angry thoughts um, then maybe even thoughts of hope for example or something a little bit nice maybe but you can't go to thinking really nice thoughts usually from being really feeling full of rage, anger and despair and powerlessness. So just become a conscious thinker, it's the most important thing. And to open your heart, it's the most important thing as well. And um, no, this life is just a game, so to speak, of your soul. When you die, it's like waking up from a dream. This is more like a dream. It's a serious dream. It's a proper dream. It's worthwhile. It's not an illusion, so to speak. Well, you can call it an illusion if you want, but it's not to put it down. This is full of worth and, and worth worthwhile. Life is proper. Life is real and it's true and it's meaningful. Otherwise, it wouldn't be. But it isn't really like our bodies. Like these are our temples, our vehicles. It's not who we are. It's our instruments of our spirit. So, just get clear on what you want in life, and then go about making it happen. That's all. Time exists in this dimension for a reason. So that's why it's consecutive. And things can take time. So, hope oh, now is that helpful? Do you have any questions or comments? So, um, I'll leave you with that, I suppose. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to creating my life. So you go looking forward to creating your life. 
and get back to me in a few weeks, months to a year or more and tell me if you've created some lovely things and this video has helped. But I'll send you love and gratitude and wishing all the best from my heart. Take care and have a great day. Lots of love. Bye. Owen.